In the last video, we just loaded two static sprites. This UFO head and this player ship. So nothing interesting here. Uh, I mean, uh, in a real game, we will use rather sprite sheet animation. So this is uh, what I'm going to cover in this part, in this video, how to load sprite sheet animations. So the first animation I'm going to load is this, is this enemy sprite sheet PNG. I created this in Inkscape. I draw it myself. So it it is a uh, 1500 by 100 wide um, image uh, sized image. So every of this frame has is a 100 by 100. 100 width and 100 height and uh, the animation is just very simple this light is changing in every frame so let's take a look how to load this animation in Cocos I'm going to delete this part and for that I'm going to use the underlying uh, Piglet so I'm going to import Piglet Pilot. And first I'm going to load in this layer. I'm going to load the image. So image equals pilot dot image dot load. Load. Yeah. Give it the file but so it is in the rest folder slash and it's called enemy sprite sheet dot png enemy sprite sheet dot png and now let's create uh, an image grid so emg grid image grid from piglet dot image that image grid image image grid here it is first argument is the image we just loaded the second and the third argument are the number of rows and the number of columns so this image has one row and 15 columns so 15 sub images or sub frames are in this sheet so one row and 15 columns and also i'm going to specify the width and the height of each frame so and you can do this by setting the item width equal to 100 and the item height equal to 100 so 100 by 100 one subframe okay now that we have an an image grid i'm going to create an anim uh, variable so and it will be the piglet that image that animation animation okay the first yeah not animation but pilot that image that animation that from image sequence here it is from image sequence so let's give it the image grid image grid and image grid uh, you can slice it so you can access the individual frames by by giving it image grid and zero colon and the next argument is the um, speed 
so I'm going to give it 0 0.1 and also set the loop to true okay first let's print out how this image image grid looks like so image grid so as you see you have an object of image grid and its size 1500 by 100 so if you slice it from 0 to the end you will see that you have you have a list of image data regions and every of this image data region is 100 by 100 so you have 15 of these image data regions inside this image grid so that's why you need when you create uh, an animation from image sequence you have to slice it like this to actually access the data inside that image grid okay we're going to delete this and the next step is just create a sprite from this animation and for that we are going to use the cocos that sprite that sprite and give it the anim or the animation let's set its position so sprite at position mm, equal to um, let's say 200 on x and 500 on y and of course in order to uh, make it visible we need to add it to, to the layer so self dot add the SPR so let me take a look okay now we have a simple little sprite sheet animation so uh, this video is already uh, more than seven minutes long so because of I don't want to upload two long videos I just decided that the next uh, uh, sprite sheet animation is running cat I'm going to do a separate video on that because it's a little bit more complicated than loading this uh, UFO sheet so hope you to see in the next video as well and of course thanks for watching and have a nice day